年快乐。As is known, the Chinese New Year, also called the Chinese Spring Festival, is the most important holiday for the Chinese people, home and abroad. I would like to emphasize that it was declared a national public holiday in Suriname under the leadership of President Bortese, the first of its kind in the entire Western Hemisphere, which indeed demonstrates the inclusiveness and harmony of a multicultural society. During the Chinese New, during the Chinese New Year, Fam family members travel long distance back home for family reunion. Although my wife and I couldn't make it this year, but the warmth and festive atmosphere in Paramaribo make us feel at home. Chair and members of Fat Chow Song Hui. Your Excellency, Ambassador Liu Kuang and Mrs. Sun Sha, the staff of the Embassy of the People's Republic of China, Speaker of the House, Ministers, all distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Chung Wu Hao. I am deeply honored to make, make these brief remarks today. On this notable day, as we celebrate Chinese New Year, where 2019 symbolizes the year of the pig in Chinese culture. Pigs are the symbol of wealth with a beautiful personality and are indicators of good fortune of life. It also is a unique event, ladies and gentlemen, that Suriname as the only country in the region as the ambassador has put forward has declared Chinese New Year a national public holiday. This, the Republic of Suriname and the People's Republic of China have long historical, diplomatic, and also business ties. The valued presence of Chinese descendants and their contribution to the political, economical, and cultural development of Suriname are greatly acknowledged and appreciated. On the bilateral level, of the, the People's Republic of China and the government of Suriname carried out several big projects. To the benefit of both societies, some projects are currently running and some will be starting soon. The wide range scope varies as we know, ladies and gentlemen, from scholarships, ICT projects to infrastructural projects. Our collective leadership and joint collaboration will pave the way for greater achievement and success as well as the formation of the cornerstone to address global challenges. Excellency, the government of Suriname supports and welcomes the One Belt, One Road initiative of President Xi Jinping of the People's Republic of China because of its improvement of connectivity of the expansion of international trade and of economic growth and prosperity to the whole world population. Ladies and gentlemen, with regard to crime, I want to assure you the government of Suriname takes countrywide measures to improve safety. Late December 2018, the Safe City Project was launched and only in Paramaribo 300 Cameras were installed on 100 strategic locations. The government continues with Wani Khan Albinanao. This means that on 22 strategic locations, more than 60 cameras will be installed additionally. The safe city operation is carried out from the command center where the police and other services monitor in real time and are ready to react when necessary. Already in January of this year, crime cases have been solved by the police substantially because of this new Safe City camera project. I was yesterday with the Minister of Justice and Police, and in the coming month we have the second initiative where the mobility of the police 
will increase with at least 200 more mobile vehicles, motor caps, and so on. A very strong incentive for the police. I am convinced that this new year will mark great achievements for our countries. While striving for further substantiate and substantiate our bilateral ties. Excellency, Mr. Ambassador, before I conclude, for this afternoon, I would like to make a gesture of goodwill to the Chinese community. The government, the government of Suriname has decided to make a land surface of 50 hectares available for the Chinese community. The goal is one, part for religious reasons, to construct a Chinese temple, and for the other part, for ceremonial and burial purposes. If you are interested in the location where the land is, we can discuss the details. And after you decide, the Ministry of RKB, will, who is responsible for the land issuance, can make sure for the necessary provisions. Mr. Chair, I am now proposed toast to you, to the health of you and your valued organization, as well as each member of the Sudanese China and Chinese community. Xin Chun Huailen.